Hi guys, uh, welcome to another art video. So to start off, I got um, this art book today of one of my favorite artists. Uh, I was super excited I found this at Barnes & Noble and I was like, okay, yeah, I'm buying this. And lately I've been watching a lot of like alternate history and um, speculative biology videos. And I'm like, oh my God, I wanna paint some dinosaurs. And I know that this guy, Simon Stallenhug, does some really, really good atmospheric sort of alternate history dinosaur paintings. So I took this as an opportunity to do a study sort of of his work. Um, so here are some just some really good sketches of some raptors and stuff. But so what I wanted to do was paint a picture of a Dakota raptor in the Jeffers petroglyphs in Minnesota. Um, just because that's, I, I've recently moved to southern Minnesota and the landscape is really different here and it's super cool. So um, I really wanted to just paint that instead of sort of the um, like uh, foggy sort of Swedish landscape that this guy paints. And so what I did was um, I took a picture of the pet the Jeffers petroglyphs and sort of because I'm really fuzzy when it comes to uh, both composition of paintings as well as uh, um, uh, like making sure I position uh, like an object in a landscape painting in such a way that it's convincing. Um, I doctored up this this fucking picture. <laughs> Um, and I, I do this a lot for, um, figuring out the composition of my paintings, but this one, this one is just really funny to me. <laughs> so, but yeah. Uh, okay, so this is the actual time lapse of the painting. Uh, I took it with my phone, so it's really, really fast. Uh, but I'm just laying down some colors. Um, I really hated these colors at first. Um, I haven't painted in a while, and I don't usually paint with gouache. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me right now, um, but I've been trying to figure it out. So mixing colors has been very difficult, but yeah, so here I am just painting out the rocks and stuff. I'm going to be honest, um, the forms of the rocks really bothered me uh, while painting this. I feel like I wasn't able to get it as convincing as I wanted it to, but you'll see that it starts to look a lot less ugly um, as we go on, but yeah. So another thing that I was definitely struggling with was the colors. Uh, I originally wanted to go for more orange in the rock, but for some reason the paints that I have will not make orange. I can't mix an orange to save my life, so it's more pink. But I think that the pink uh, and the yellow of the grass ends up looking really nice. Um, yeah, so, but I referenced uh, um, one of Simon's paintings for the grass color actually because the one that I had looked at or the picture that I made was the green grass but I wanted it to be a little bit duller um so yeah uh here I am painting the actual Dakota Raptor um this was just a whole bunch of just guessing um like I said I don't paint uh dinosaurs very often so I was like whatever I'm just making a big angry chicken I don't care how accurate it is like, I don't even know if raptors, like, were able to, like, live in this part of Minnesota during the time that they were alive because, like, there was an inland sea here at some point, but I don't know my time scales. But yeah, here's a cool big ang angry chicken uh, for you guys. <laughs> so this is the finished painting. This The time lapse made it seem really, really fast. I don't know how long it took me to paint this, but um, I'm pretty happy with it, to be honest. Um, it's not at all how I really wanted it to be, but it's still something that I'm very happy with and I'm totally gonna put on my wall. Um, that was the point of this. Uh, but at the very least, it was a very fun exercise and I think that the colors turned out really nice. Um, I think that the actual raptor itself turned out really nice and I'm pretty happy with it. So, But since this video is short, I'm gonna show you other stuff that I've made in the past couple days. Okay, first of all, here is a pot that I painted for my jade plant. I didn't really feel like painting that much that day, but I wanted to make something nice, so I hatched this out super quickly. Um, it's a lady and a dog. Check it out, lady and a dog. There's a dog on this side, 
Get ready for it. Get ready. You're not even freaking ready. And there's a lady on that side. Oh my god, it's amazing. Um, and then I got these these little like houses at Goodwill. Um, the mushroom one is has not been painted yet. Um, but I'm gonna get around to it. Uh, but this one, this one has been painted by me. This is so fun, and it took forever because I use gouache paint again. And gouache paint is like basically watercolor, so it's like. I had to put on so many layers of paint before it would actually stick, but all in all, I'm glad that I used it uh, because, I don't know, I think it looks cool. And, horse. I haven't painted this yet, but I'm going to. I'm so excited. Horse. Okay, so finally, these are just some character designs that I've been working on for this sort of world or whatever that I've been thinking of. It's actually, it's pretty complicated and I've been thinking about it a lot, but uh, it's way too much to include in this video, so I just wanted to share the the designs. So, um, basically, the world building aspect, whatever, is that um, genetic augmentation is what it's called, is easily accessible, and you can do it to adults, and it can be proliferated throughout your whole body, and it doesn't cause cancer. And people use it, um, instead of eugenics, for uh, adaptations, because climate change is in the future, whatever. Um, so this lady, her name's Fern, she has photosynthetic skin cells. And then I realized, oh my god, why am I giving her so many clothes? She has photosynthetic skin cells, she needs to photosynthesize. So, here's another character design, um, I just have one so far, I haven't colored the freaking outfit. But, um, she, uh, I don't know, um, you guys, uh, it's hard designing clothes, I'm realizing, but... Yeah, so, um, there's that. Uh, here's my painting again, because this is what the video is about. So, thank you for watching my video. Catch you on the flip. Bye.